Hello and welcome to another video from PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb and this video is going to be about adding and subtracting decimals using an app called Number Pieces and the concepts behind Base 10 Blocks which is a proportional model to help understand place value and can help do modeling with respect to adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing whole numbers and decimals. And so this, this video is going to be a quick little explanation about how you can use this app and then the concepts behind adding and subtracting decimals. There is a video, of course, that talks a little bit more about having the value and, and reestablishing what the whole is and uh, knowing what one is, what a tenth is, and then what a hundredth is. And this app also it's I have in the zoom in version and I'm gonna pinch in I can zoom in a little bit more and I can take my block I can zoom way in or I can zoom out and so I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space a little bit of work area here so that I can I can model for you a little bit more uh, within my workspace and uh, so I'm gonna start off by saying I want to let's say add uh, one point four seven so one point four seven plus two point eight six so one point four seven plus two point eight six and my little stylus is giving me some issues right now so we'll just make do with it um, I may just go to my finger on this one so we have our uh, let me erase that so we have our long, I mean we have our flat here, and we're going to call it one. It's going to be our whole. So for kind of respect here or purposes here, I'm going to write a one inside of it. So we know that's our whole. And I want to now model 1.47 or 1 and 47 hundredths. I'm going to start off, and one reason I like this app is because it, it, gives, me, it gives me this little divider. Uh, of course, later on when, when you do the app or do the video that talks about multiplication of your decimals and, or multiplication of whole numbers using base 10 blocks, then this actually comes in handy to help measure the sides and you can uh, count how many and what the dimensions are of the rectangle that you are uh, finding the area of, which will be an area model of multiplication. But that is another video. What we're going to do here is we're going to model decimals. We're going to model decimals and the addition of those decimals. So the first decimal that I'm going to model is going to be 1 and 47 hundredths. So that's 4 tenths and then that's going to be 7 hundredths. So I have, that is 1 and 47 hundredths. And then I'm going to add to that 2 and 86 hundredths. Whoops, got 6 already. Let me delete that one. All right, so I have 1 and 47 hundredths plus... 2 and 86 hundredths. And we are now combining, it's kind of like an algebra like terms, where we're going to we're going to add together the hundredths place, then we're going to add together the tenths place, and then we're going to add together the ones place. And if we ever get an opportunity or a time when we have too many that can be represented in that place value, we'll need to exchange for a higher valued uh, place. Um, uh, so, yeah, y'all are, let me do this, for a higher value place. So what we have here is, we have 1 and 47 hundredths, we have 2 and 86 hundredths. So we start in the hundredths place. Well, I have 7 hundredths here, and I have 6 hundredths there. So I need to add them together. And we know we can add them, and that will be 13 but we have too many. We only have a symbol that goes up to nine. So we're going to need to take our seven and our six and we're going to find out how many tens we can create from that. How many can we exchange? And we notice that we make one ten and then three of the, I'm sorry, one tenth and then three hundredths. 
So there's our 13 there. And we're going to take this one and we actually do what we refer to as carrying. So if I were over here, I would put the three down, which is this three here, and I would carry the one. So that's the procedure that we say, but the modeling that we're doing is we actually do an exchange and we exchange that 10, we regroup the 10 units into that one long there and we put it into the tens column and that's the carrying the one part. Now what we have is we have one plus these four make five plus these eight make another 13. Well again 13 we, we have a symbol that goes up to nine. We have we have too many to write down a single number so we're going to have to regroup. We're going to have to ex um, exchange 10 of these for a flat and this app allows you to quickly do that so you have 10 of these for a flat and you're left with one of the ones now or one flat and then three of our tenths so we bring this one right over here and in a mathematically speaking or procedurally speaking we do the addition and we get we bring down our three and we carry the one. Well, that carrying the one is actually taking this flat and exchanging it or regrouping it and then putting it into its correct column. And we have one, two, three, four flats now. And we don't forget our decimal place so that we know the values of our symbols. So that is the addition of decimals. And one thing that you want to emphasize with the addition of decimals and you want to emphasize with the addition of whole numbers is this concept of regrouping and exchanging and knowing what it is to do or what's the concept behind carrying. What is the concept behind that that moving it over? Uh, let, me, let me go ahead. We're going to... I want to do one with quick subtraction here. Uh, let's make up a number. I like doing that every once in a while. So we have, I'm going to make this a 3 and 23. So 3 and 23 hundredths. And we want to subtract 2 and how about... 45 hundredths. So we're going to subtract 2 and 45 hundredths and find that solution. And one thing I like about this app is you can change the color of the ones that you are subtracting to that red, which helps them get ready for maybe upper level um, uh, middle school mathematics and the idea behind the positives and the negatives to where uh, the negative, positive one and negative one will actually go to zero. So we have three and twenty-three hundredths minus two and forty-five hundredths. We again, we need to subtract. So we have three units here and we need to subtract five units from it. And we want to say five hundredths or from it, we don't have enough. We don't have enough to subtract 5 from 3. So therefore, we all need, we're going to need to exchange. We're going to need to exchange one of these tenths and break it up into 10 of our hundredths. So that now we have enough to, for every one of our positives, we can pair up with one of our negatives. And so for every pair, they actually pair up, and a positive with a negative is going to make it go to zero. And we're left with those seven units. And the way we do that procedurally or um, abstractly with our numbers is we're going to go next door and we borrow one. We don't really borrow it. We steal it. And then we make our 313. Well, what we did is we went and we exchanged a 10 or a 10th for 10 hundredths and then that became 13 total hundredths that we subtracted 5 from 
and that left us with 8. I said 7 early, we actually left with 8. And now we do the same thing with our tenths place. We don't have enough, so we have to go next door and we need to regroup. We need to regroup the 3 and we need to it now leave 2 over there and when we regroup we're going to have 11 tenths. And the 11 tenths are 10 right here plus that 1 makes 11 tenths. And then we're going to pair them up with four of these red ones and then that's going to go away and of course I lost my little bar so I'll get it back again and now we have our eight oh did I do that right we had eleven minus four should be seven I forgot to pair up with this one right here so they pair up together and they disappear and we're left with seven one two three four five six those watching this video I made a human mistake there's a seven I, I my all my clicking and stuff I had to check myself so we gotta always be careful of how we're writing so we're gonna check ourselves this is gonna be this was eight and now the last one we pair up so let's do this one at a time that positive and that negative will go to zero this positive and this negative will go to zero and we see abstractly that two minus two is zero and we're left with seventy eight hundredths so the subtraction uh, when you take the time to make sure you're pairing up and, and deleting properly you can visually represent the subtraction of decimals and the important thing is focusing on the place value is focusing on um, what is subtracting how are we subtracting when we are exchanging when we are regrouping it's all very important and it needs to be focused when we are teaching uh, this lesson so uh, thanks for watching this is uh, professor lamb and you're watching videos from pipad mathematics